episode, I cut the Leopard GHI Black Pastel Clutch. I've been doing things that they told me I should never do. I've been doing things that they told me I could never do now. Never do, I could never do. I've been looking back and I'm the only one who ever knew. My dreams began to turn out. I told them it's my turn now. They in the club and I'm in the studio. Guess they gonna learn now. Told myself I want it all, gotta get it all, never gonna burn out. I've been busy working, you busy flirting. Guess you get what you deserve now. Whoa. You want to show them the Facebook get up we got going over here on, yes. on Instagram? Facebook Live so right are, there. We got Facebook Live. So we got the whole camera crew. I got Pops behind the Instagram camera and the YouTube. We got my sister over here. You better be watching live. Let's see if she's wa you watching live. No, it's my Snapchat. She's, taking, she's doing Snapchat for her. <laughs> Snapchat. She put me on blast on her Snapchat. So this is That's what, what I'm talking hey, about, sis. A lot of people ask me what this is in my video. This is a nightlight. When I was a kid, you know, I was scared of the dark. So now I'm kidding. For real, this is, uh, this is for the snakes. And... Yeah, it's going to get hot in here real quick. We need to kick off all the, the AC units. I'm loving the logo. Someone said you need to get me uh, DM C. What is that? K Caskill eighty two said you owe me a bottle of scotch for my birthday, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I get that right in the mail to you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I I'm not gonna lie. I peeked in at these snakes. There's some that are still in the egg. There's some that's not. At least as of like two o'clock today. Um, Welcome. I'm all about the money. <laughs> He's all about the money. <laughs> yeah. Welcome K3 Ben128. Thank you for the happy birthday. Gotta love these birthday wishes, man. Man, you feel it's your birthday? Look at mm -hmm. this. All right. So what are we doing here? Did you son? have a nice birthday dinner today? Oh, wonderful. Spent the day with the family. Uh, had some beautiful dinner. Good time together. That's what it's all about. Now we're here to have some fun. That's right. <laughs> All right, guys. So, so basically what I'm doing here is some of these snakes are already out of the egg. So we put down the paper towels and we, we put 85 degree water in here to keep them moist. Now, anybody that watched my last YouTube video, I actually did a different method where I put the hatchlings in the incubator after they came out of the egg until they had their first shed. I did it, I ran the experiment, and only about half of that clutch actually ate the first time. So I'm like, you know, I just don't think it's worth it to really put them back in the incubator. It's limited data. You know, I ran the experiment, but um, I tell you what, what they say, don't don't fix a car that's not broken. Is that that saying? That's right, or, um, that's right. So, don't fix it if it ain't yeah, broke. Yeah, it ain't broken. So we're just gonna go back to putting them in the rack like we have been doing, because uh, it's been working. So what I'm going to set up here is my wash tubs. This tub is just going to have, again, the 85 degree, degree uh, water. And then in this tub, we're going to also put the same 85 degree water, but we're going to put a splash of chlorhexidine in it to just kind of disinfect the snake a little bit. Do you have your chlorhexidine? Again, right this really isn't necessary. It's just what I do that works for me. It cleans the snakes up well for photos. So that's kind of what I've been doing. I'm not saying by any means what I'm doing is exactly what you should do. As a, as a disclaimer, I would highly recommend doing, of course, whatever works for you. But you know, use me as a proxy to finding out what works best for you. That's what I would personally recommend. So anyway, so we got Leopard GHI to Black Pastel. By the way, at the end of this video, we will hop into um, talking about the snake giveaway. I wanted to try it out to see how. I don't know if I'll do another snake give, giveaway. I wanted to do one of them to see how it goes. And uh, we'll see what the turnout's like. I'll get into the details after we set up these babies. Um, let me grab some disinfectant. Welcome, Dragon Tamer. Dragon Glad Tamer to have in you. the house. All right, guys. I'll try to put a, a link in my story so you guys can purchase the same disinfectant. I used to use F10 for real. I'm saving tons of money by, by switching to this stuff. I'm paying like $15 for a full gallon. And you put uh, two tablespoons in, in one gallon of cleaner, this will last you a whole year for $15. And this is what vets use. This is what hospitals use. Mm -hmm. like it's, 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 it's on point. It. There we go. Chlorhexidine. I'll put a link in my story. Hey, just, just a little splash in there. That's all you all need. All it takes. 
Dad actually took a shower in this stuff the other night when we were out in the woods. It made my skin feel so soft. <laughs> hey, and he, he walked in. He's like, you want to try it? I was like, why not? Let's just do it. I was thinking get rid of the chiggers. Yeah. yeah. So, you, All right, so I want you to come a little closer with the Instagram Live um, to show that. I want you to have it right up on there so we can show everybody the snakes. So let's crack right into this and see what we have here. Uh-oh. We definitely, definitely have some darkness here. We got, As you can see, we have a couple in the uh, in the egg still so this was 12 egg now this is leopard GHI to black pastel we might have the triple in here we might not we'll find out and and yeah you guys are like you guys have saw in my last couple live videos I don't always call them correctly as I see them because for one I'm like super freaking hyped up basically uh, like on a huge, I guess, I don't know if I'm on journaling or what, but I'm pretty hyped up on these live videos, so I call them wrong sometimes. So I'm not going to jump to conclusions. A lot of times when they shed, that's good, that's when you're going to want to see it. So let's hop into it. I'm just going to start with this egg right here. This one actually was not, these are on day 57, and this one had not yet pipped. This is a leopard black pastel, and that, that is just phenomenal look at the side patterns how just squiggly it is go ahead and bring that right I want that right close up on it so the viewers can see that um, just completely gorgeous I'm blown away by this combo a simple two gene combo and what you'll see you'll see a lot of different combos out there that are two three five six seven genes and they just wash everything out I think the end game to what how I want to run my business and what direction I want to take is finding the perfect combinations that unlock the potential, the full potential in all the different genetics that are present within the snake. So you can see all the individual genes. And this right here is a perfect example showing the black pastel and the leopard in that egg. All right, awesome. so we got so we got empty empty eggs here. I want the rats to eat those. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> Well, we, you know, we feed eggshells to the rats. Yes, so we that's do. That's what I was thinking. Mm, that's what you said. Okay, thinking. so I have... Chicken eggshells. I have a baby in this egg. So let's let's uh, cut this one on open here. You can see the baby's already done plenty of slits. The the egg's pretty much fully absorbed. The yolk is fully absorbed. I, I like to use cuticle scissors. These are kind of tilted up. It helps keep the blade away from the, the snake. And I've personally never had any issue at all cutting eggs. I used to cut on day 50. These days I'm cutting on day 56, 57, just because I'm trying to be more patient in life. I'm trying to lead by example. If I'm telling you all to be patient, I'm going to be patient too. Welcome snakes and shakes. Glad you're here. You didn't miss a whole lot. It's okay. It'll be up for 24 hours. Don't mm -hmm. worry. Everybody go follow Snake and Shake. Or AKA... Welcome Wyoming. Shaky Snake. <laughs> Snakey shake. Snakey shake. Okay, so this is a beautiful black pastel. Look at that reduced pattern on the sides and just how clean that is. And and I think one thing that you want to breed out over many years is trying to breed out the extra flecking that, that would kind of be a little messy in the pattern. This is very clean. It's very precise where the black meets the, the pattern in there. The dorsal stripe is very clean and fine. And that's just going to be a phenomenal animal. And if you're starting off of a brand new collection... I think it's very important to have that foundational stock be very, 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 very clean. That way you don't have to backtrack and backpedal and try to refine. You see so many so many people saying, oh, I gotta you know work this out or work that out. Well, if you start with perfect, not necessarily perfect, but top of the line quality in your genetics, you will see that you don't really have to refine and you can really hit the ground running once you start getting into the combos or you don't need enhancer genes, you don't need a gene to like make it better because it's already you know, world class on its own. So that's what we're aiming for here. I think this snake, well I probably wasn't its first breath, it already uh, had it pit, but man that's just beautiful. Simple single gene black pastel. You, that's just the foundation of what makes these awesome combos. Okay. Welcome to all, five, all 95, 96 viewers, welcome to every one of you, come on let's watch this. They're ready to come out, ain't they? Yep. Last time I left the, uh, the little scarfs on, on their head, and, uh, <laughs> that ha they, they came off just fine. I, you know, I just don't want to, I don't want to, I'll try to cut this off. I don't want to cut the snake. You just broke 100 viewers. All right. All right. So, 
in the comments, you know, here's what we're looking for. I mean, yes, it's very obvious. This is a GHI black pastel, and it is freaking sexy on its own. The question is, which one has leopard? So maybe we want to do some side-by-side -side comparisons, especially like this one back here. They look pretty similar. I really want to see leopard in one of these triples. Let's, let's keep moving forward. And to my knowledge, that would be a world's first. How's the Facebook? You got any uh, any, any uh, interaction on the Facebook feed? We got uh, MJ Reptile says in the house. Nice, right. MJ. It's my boy MJ. Joey Norris questioned, is that an IG? Is that on IG? Uh, it's Let's also on Instagram as yes. well. So this, this egg is a little kind of messy. It's kind of hard to see what's going on in here. You got a lot of slime. But again, that's just phenomenal. I think it's a GHI black pastel. I'm not so sure that that I've seen the, the, the world's first triple in here yet. You let me know in the comments what you're thinking. We're going to pull all the triples out. Now, now one thing you can go ahead and see right off the bat here is, is you can definitely see this one's darker. Of course, that could just simply be variants. I think this one's just going to go ahead and come on out. So that, that's cool. That'll help us uh, maybe figure out what's going on. All right, buddy. He was like, screw this. I'm going to join this party. Yeah, he's like, get me out of that egg. <laughs> and it, you can see that was fully absorbed. It's just a little bit mm -hmm. of goo. A lot of these eggs have the goo in them anyway. So that's fine. Because so a lot of times they'll just, in the incubator, they'll just sit there in their egg, just kind of like waiting for that yeah. moment to come out. So we only have three in the egg still. We're going to leave them, obviously, and not mess with them. And let's go ahead and start sexing and setting up these babies and see what we have in this back pile here. Eric, Melissa, Max. It's Eric! Hey it's my brother Eric. How What's are up, you? What's up, Eric? It's good to see you, buddy. Take care. Hope you're doing good in Tennessee. Thanks for the happy birthday, Eric. And you're right. I should ask for that boa for my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you want to get a little of, of this uh, on your, your YouTube shot? Yeah. Just show what's, what's going on. All right, cool. Make we sure got live Instagram here. Still doing good on that. Now, by the way, we have six minutes left of recording on that YouTube video. So mm -hmm. once we get down to that, we'll have to stop it and start it again. And then we can, it, I think it has like a 20 or 25 minute limit on what you're doing. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and, and crack right into this one. Now, this one is very, very, very dark. Is that the triple? Is that dark, dark, dark snake the triple? I think it's the triple. I'm going to go with the triple. Go ahead and see if it's male or female. Kind of can already tell it's a female. Just Nope, that's a male. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Just look at that swimming in that water. Look at them circles on the dorsal. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's, that's, that's triple eights, man. That is you got phenomenal. It. Look at that. Wow. Mike Wickman says, Hey guys from Ontario by way of Newfoundland. Can you give me and my girlfriend Tammy Ward a shout out? Shout out to them. <laughs> <laughs> nails going in here. Yeah, we'll put the nails in there if you want to get the little shot of him sliding in. Mm. That's his new home for a few days. Are these going back in the incubator for first uh, shed? Only the one, no, not these. Only the ones okay. that are in the eggs still. Gotcha. So here's another one. Now, if that first one was a triple, this one's also a triple because the head pattern has got that fading behind it. It has the eights on the back. So I'm pretty sure this would be the Leopard GHI uh, Black Pastel. Let's see if we can find out. I don't know if we'll... So it's so hard sometimes. You can see it's trying to pee right now, and, and basically everything's prolapsed out already. So it, it's very difficult to, to sex these right out of the egg. Mm -hmm. And I don't really want to force the issue. Because right. all we have, and that's the thing, all we have as snake breeders is time. Like, if you don't have that through your head, you're going to learn it one way or another. That's all we have is time. There is no completion. There is no finish line. Like, this is a lifestyle, and you just enjoy the journey. I'm going to go ahead and wash this off. That's almost like a clone of the last snake that we had out of there. So you going male with that? Okay. No rush at all, though. I'll, I'll, I'll Any sex comments, them. sis? You maybe, can see. Maybe after Any the questions. Meal. Okay, mindless wants a shout out. 
<laughs> hey, you comment comment on the live feed. I'm going to keep it up for 24 hours. It'll probably get seen by a couple thousand people. So yeah. you can shout yourself out. Shout yourself <laughs> out on the comments, guys. Okay. So here's another very dark one. We got that blushed. It's a little blushed on the back of the head there. And it's also very dark. So, so maybe these are the triples. And then you kind of look at this one. And that looks a little bit more like a traditional GHI black pastel. And all these babies are super big. They're nice, big, healthy. They're, they're, they've got a lot of energy. Hey, Troutline had a question. Want to know when you put them in these, what kind of subtract, subtract do you use to start them out with? The, the substrate is actually paper towels. Substrate. Now, once they shed, they'll go on coconut mulch. It's just a paper towel uh, wet down with just some plain water. Okay, and, and we'll get we'll get all the triples back out here probably in a minute or doubles, and we'll try to do a comparison. But guys, I'm really thinking that these have leopard in them. I'm pretty sure this is the triple. You can see them keyhole patterns that are that are so so characteristic of a leopard GHI. I'm pretty certain this is the triple right here because you can look at this one in the egg. And it simply does not have the back of its head blushed out like that. And it, and it I, mean, I don't know. It's all speculation. And we'll know better once they shed. That's a female, though. And you better believe she's probably staying here. Female right there. Going in. Is this in. just one clutch? This is just one clutch. This is a 12 egg clutch um, by a black pastel that I got from El Guapo Reptiles many years ago. Last year we bred the pastel clown to her and we got uh, the head clown clutch. So here's another very, very dark one. But I'm going to lean towards this one. I don't know. Maybe not having leopard in it. Let me try to sex it real quick. Looks like a female. Female over here. over here is female. You know what? Let's just put them all. Let's put all the dark ones together. Gotcha. Because you're gonna and, yeah. And the the photo shoot of these is gonna be very 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 extensive and take me hours probably. Do I gotta bleed for me? Put a checklist out for the piece of me. Cross checking motherfucker. God bless a motherfucker. Who the last motherfucker doing peacefully? I've been in the art and the caution and with the vibe though. Feeling blessed by the dark in the sky though. Seeing bright lights off in a minute minute. Wonder why the flow ain't right. Yeah, it's been a minute. Shaking up. I got a whole lot to say. I've been seeing why the dark feel good. Traveling all on my mind, learning from mines. I ain't got nothing but time. Cook it back, back, chill in the backpack. Sleeping on my only giving chill all the last lap. Chicken past rap, kind of motherfucking cash rap. How I'm feeling now, kind of motherfucker ass that. Pain from the truth. House not a home when it rain on the roof. Uh, I choose art and light. What I learn now through dark is light. I choose art and light. What I learn now through dark is light. What I learn now is dark is light. Lord, I ain't wanna be weak. Show me like what you teach me All I know is I please me Lord, I ain't wanna be weak me Show me like what you teach me All I know is I please me Lord, I ain't wanna be weak me Show me like what you teach me All I know is I please me Lord, I ain't wanna be weak me Show me like what you teach me All I know is I please me Lord, I ain't wanna be weak me Show me like what you teach me All I know is I please me Lord, I ain't wanna be weak me Show me like what you teach me All I know is I please me Lord, I ain't wanna